Hi, rising ninth grade honors English one students. My name is Mrs. Bond and I'm the Boiling Springs High School librarian. I'm here to talk to you about selecting a book for summer reading. And in order to select a book, we're going to ask you to make a selection that can serve as a mirror, a window, or a sliding glass door. This presentation is going to walk you through choosing a book that can serve as one of those things for your life. So my first example is for a window. Books are sometimes windows, offering views of worlds that may be real or imagined, familiar or strange. In reading My Name is Jason, Mine Too, Our Story, Our Way by Jason Reynolds and Jason Griffith, I was able to have a window into the lives of successful YA author Jason Reynolds and how he and his best friend, a successful artist, Jason Griffith, made it living in New York City after college. This book was able to give readers a view and some insight into what life was like for these two starving artists as they tried to make their way in the writing and art worlds. Books can also serve as sliding glass doors. So windows are also sliding glass doors and readers only have to walk through in imagination to become part of whatever world has been created or recreated by the author. In reading Chaos Theory by Nick Stone, I was introduced to Shelby, who's a character that lives with bipolar disorder and Andy, who's a character who lives with addiction and grief. Both characters share windows into their world, but their innermost thoughts, feelings, and fears are what help readers better be able to understand their experiences. So when I think of a sliding glass door, I think of the book as a more immersive experience, um, one where as a reader, I can feel a connection and better understand the character's experiences or the individual's experiences based on um, the things that they share that are personal uh, like their innermost thoughts and feelings. And books can also serve as a mirror. So when lighting conditions are just right, a window can also be a mirror. Literature transforms human experience and reflects it back to us. And in that reflection, we can see our own lives and experiences as part of the larger human experience. So for this one, I selected A Taste for Love by Jennifer Yen. Liza shares her mother's knack and skill for baking. Much like Liza, I learned many family recipes from my mom and grandmother and now enjoy making them with my children. We love baking and decorating cakes and are always up for trying a new recipe. So this book served as a mirror in the connection to um, baking together with family. Your task is going to be uh, to select and read one book that is a mirror window, or sliding glass door for you or your life. You should be prepared to explain why or how this book is a mirror, window, or sliding glass door. And while there are great titles with younger and older characters, your choice should have age relevance. And what I mean by age relevance is that it should have a high school aged protagonist. Your book can be fiction or nonfiction, but it should have a story that can serve as a mirror, window, or sliding glass door for you or your life. I hope you enjoy uh, the book that you select. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out via email to me or to Mrs. Mersch, the Honors Ninth Grade English teacher. Have a great summer and happy summer reading.